Oh, you can see my trashy back seat. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't you laugh? Oh, I am. I bet that freaking uh, hat back there isn't mine. No, it's mine. Exactly. Uh, so we are on our way to Alfreda, Georgia to purchase a Mr. Beast burger. I love how I just made you do that. Like this is a, I guess, you, you know, it could turn into a couple's channel. I At this point, I don't know what my channel is. We're going to review a Mr. Beast burger. Sorry I've been gone. Um, I don't know what my channel is turning into and I don't know where it's going, but I'm just gonna have fun making it. We being selfish in 2021. Roll Tide, brother. Yes. I don't know, maybe this is like general knowledge by now, but if you don't know, you should watch um, Food Theory's video from MatPat. Um, so Mr. Beast's restaurants are all ghost kitchens. So there's actually not a physical location you can go to, um, but it's also not uh, just a building. I thought it was just gonna be a building. I thought it was honestly gonna be like little like food trucks or like vendor stands or like pop-up things like that. Yeah. But like... I thought it was gonna be like a concrete building that looked like an old Pizza Hut or something like that that just had cars in it yeah. and people going in and out of it. But it's actually a working restaurant um, that is a part of the franchise that this person that uh, Mr. Beast went to for these franchises so he could open all these locations. Yeah. I'm assuming they're just double-timing um, and cooking for Mr. Beast and for the restaurant itself. So plus, it's a smart business move. I was about to say, plus they cooking for Tyga and Mariah Carey. Yeah, and Mariah like, Carey. Polly D. Polly D. He's got some Italian subs. We could have ordered some Polly D. Italian subs from this place. More That's than crazy. What we did though, because we can't go inside. I hope I'm saying Buca de Beppo. Buca de Beppo, right? Buca di Beppo. Buca, Buca de Beppo. But we can't go inside and say that we want a Mr. Beast burger, even though they're the ones making the Mr. Beast burger. We have to wait for someone from Postmates to come and bring us it. We're hoping that that's okay. We called the- We called and verified. We didn't the call the actual restaurant though. We called the, um, um, the line, yes. like the helpline, we called the help for Mister Beast and affiliates. So it's all of the restaurants. And when we called at first, he was like, "No, I'm sorry, we can't do that." And we that, said, "Oh no, we're not looking for curbside pickup. We're looking for someone to like deliver the actual meal to yeah. us in the parking lot." And that's when he said, "No, no, you're right. That's totally fine." So we got confirmation from them, but I just have a sneaking suspicion that. Hey, man. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to my, what, what is it, my Chris style? Yes, he got the burger, the Chris style burger. It's got the fries on it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, he got regular fries and I'm giving him my Pepsi from my combo because I, I just have this. Also, they don't have fountain style drinks. They just have just cans, have cans. Uh, which of course is because they're pop up. Like, they're pop up. Like they're, they're, they're kind of the, the secret restaurant. Yeah. It's a secret restaurant within a restaurant. I'm getting to reuse your licenses. Yeah. <laughs> no. Get the, get the most out of them. But we also got the Mr. Beast style <laughs> fries, yes. which honestly just looks like an animal style fries ripoff from, uh, is it In-N-Out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, he's probably not gonna eat that. I'm, I'm gonna eat it. I think it's got like ketchup and mayo and a mayo. bunch of different stuff on it and pickles and meat. Um, I might try a non-disgusting fry. A non-disgusting fry? I yes. think it's gonna be all disgusting to you. Hey man. I Do you, have I, you eaten a, any animal style fries? No, but I have had in and out and it's just, it, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Comment down below one of your favorite places and do any of these burgers and stuff like that sound like something that you have? Because they're totally just taking 
like different things that they already know how to make in these restaurants or in uh, restaurants owned by the same person. Mr. Beast probably didn't come up with any of this. Oh, and I'm getting a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Yes. Forgot to say what I was getting besides the Mr. Beast salt fries. But yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Now to wait. <laughs> Get it, Lauren. Get it, Lauren. Yeah, homie. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, our delivery driver was very confused. Very. Um, she was like, oh, okay. I mean, it makes it easy for me, so that's fine. Because she just went in. I actually called her because it said meet Lauren. And I was like anxious that she wouldn't know what to do or that she wouldn't be allowed to deliver to a parking lot because I wasn't sure if it's like a hazard for them to have to um, deliver to any cars. Yeah. So I was just going to offer to like meet her at the door if she needed to or something like that uh, just to ensure her safety because I totally understand. Also ensuring safety, wear your mask for your delivery drivers. They have to be with a lot of people. Yes, they come in contact with a lot of dirty, dirty people. Yes. <laughs> like this. Yes. <laughs> no. Hey, this is this is our big bag of stuff. Our I'm very excited. Oh, it's, it's my first mukbang. I'm like <laughs> not in frame at all. I'm just like, hello. Okay. Here we go. So this is the Chris style. Got that nice branding. Good, so that's good. your Chris style burger. I'll yes. go ahead and put it on your lap. I think this is my fries. So this is just. A little sticker and unboxing the fries. Dun, they do dun, smell dun, very dun. pickly. Wow, that actually looks a lot better than I thought they would. It does. Yeah. No, that kind of looks like the picture. It does. Look at nice. that. Okay. All right. Very pickly. Yes. We also got two cookies. We did. Um, and then your chicken. It just chicken. says chicken. I'm hoping that they got it right and it's the National Hot Chicken. Because yeah. I'm not about to go in. <laughs> not about to go in and get... No, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> so that's a no Same. for me. But yeah, and then we just have fries. And they're not in any cool little packaging. This isn't really a cool little package. It's just a it's got to a, go. Ours has a cool sticker. Yes. Like. Okay, so let's, let's eat. There it is. I do want to point out that I'm kind of shocked that they don't have any vegetarian options, really. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like there's meat on the fries. So maybe that's what they would think a vegetarian would order. But it definitely has cheese on it, so there's nothing vegan. And it, it just surprises me. Yeah. Just with someone like like Mr. Beast. Yeah, it's not the Nashville Hot, which might have been on me. Um, Let's say they didn't throw my, my fries in, did they? No. Oh, no. No, they did. There's fries on that. Oh, there's fries on it, but weren't we trying to order Yeah, there's the... fries. There's okay. there's fries in here. Okay. I just didn't pull them out. Well, this um, is yeah. This is the Chris style, as you see that. Here's my chicken sandwich. It was supposed to be a Nashville hot chicken sandwich, but... But, hey. That's okay. I'll just try a bite. This is on you, Beast. That's a pretty good burger, not gonna lie. Like, it's... The chicken's okay, do you want a bite of this and I have a bite of that? What's on it? There are pickles, but I can remove the pickle. Is there mayo on it? Not on this bite. Bet. Just eat yeah. the chicken part. And a little bit of the bread. Not bad. I... Everything's a little bit dry. Just a little bit. Like, not terrible. It's fast food, you know? I really would have liked to have tried the Nashville Hot, but it's okay. It is what it is. You got your beast fries. Mm-hmm. I will try my beast fries. Fry with some good stuff on it. I'll get a fry with a pickle and everything in a minute. Yeah, so that has, like, ketchup mayo cheese a bunch of stuff it's good i don't know i always have a problem with these kind of fries i wish they would layer them with this stuff because they know that that's not all going to sink down to the bottom yeah plus poor choice on y'all for using crinkle cuts mm -hmm. like this type of fry concoction requires shoe shoe fries shoe string like 
because you can just you can layer them easily if it does seep off the sides then they go through more you can it's just you can clump them better yeah right. um i'm reminded of wing stops um fries with the duck fat mm -hmm. those fries those are absolutely like what everybody who does loaded fries that is the, that's what you should be doing that is my standard for loaded fries is wing stops want your regular fries yeah i'll go ahead and take them i want to see if that's seasoning yeah tell me how the seasoning is because i can't really tell i was about to say because with mine they're just regular like on fries. the burger they're just regular bland they didn't cuts. put yeah they didn't put any seasoning on the fries for there's, the burger there's a little bit but there's just a nice seasoned fry. Mm -hmm. Another pickle and everything. How do you, how's your take? The seasoning has no taste. Like, it's it so just, bland. Is it just salt? No, it's not even salt. There's the faintest, faintest hint of some type of spice, but like, it is like they didn't put any salt on it. Oh. It kind of tastes like it's just paprika. Got a hair. Oh, no, there's a hair on it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yep. Right oh, there. yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's... I'm just put yeah, just put that. Mm. And that's not our hair, for nope. sure. That's baked on. Yeah, because you can see the... Oh, I, can't, I don't know if you can, but you can see like it's got the seasoning and stuff on it. We pulled that right out of the bag. Oh no. That's pretty nasty. I'm probably gonna eat mine. I mean, same. It's just kind of grody. Oh, it's brown mustard. Oh. That's on here. There's so much stuff, I will say. Like, while I like all of this stuff, I do think that it's kind of weird that they don't have an option for, like, just cheese fries. I think you can just, like, subtract stuff, but then it's not the Mr. Beast style fries. Like, just exactly. cheese fries and Mr. Beast style fries. But they're on a limited menu. It's just virtual stuff. It's just virtual stuff, and it's a YouTuber mm -hmm. restaurant. I, I don't know. Like, I was telling Bethany... On the way up here, this is just one step higher than buying a video game console from Soldier Boy. Like that in the step of legitness. Like I don't know. This is the equivalent of your friend going, Hey man, you wanna you wanna buy some food at my restaurant? I need to just set up like a thing up in his garage and he's just like, Here you go, like I got a fryer and like I, I just got I just learned how to grill, like No, it kind of reminds me of when uh Trailer Park Boys did their live thing and Julian gets up on stage and he's selling the burgers to the crowd mm -hmm. and it's like, buy a Julian brand burger. It's that level of quality. The burger was good. Like, it was like a solid out of 10. Okay. Not the best. If you are from the Georgia and Alfreda area, I will say, this is somewhere in between a cookout burger like a cookout chicken sandwich like it's better than a cookout chicken sandwich as far as the meat i know there's a ton of people who are like adamant <laughs> about cookout guys it's lunchroom food it is that's what it excels at yeah and it's great lunchroom food but it's lunchroom food um it's better than a cookout burger it's not as good as popeyes like a popeyes chicken sandwich i was about to say as far as burgers go um as far as like chain burgers go, it reminds me of about, I don't know, little, <laughs> here's Steak and Shake, here's here's the Beast. Really? The beast you put it above a Steak and Shake burger? No, I, Steak and Shake's still just a little bit above. Yeah. Like it's, it's oh, up, okay. It's up there with it though. Like, it's about a Steak and Shake burger. Steak and Shake's a bit better. They just got, Steak and Shake's just got a bit more of a crisp to it on the patty. Like... That but, tasted like a Wendy's burger. Like I went and put Jack's fries on a Wendy's burger. Yeah. These are worse They're than not Jack's bad, fries. But, yeah, they are worse than Jack's fries. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, Jack's at least, 
Because Jack's also uses crinkle cut, which sucks, but at least when they season their fries, it's a lot of salt and it's just, it's It's good. got that sodium and stuff like that, but. It tastes like fry seasoning, but this, mm -hmm. this looks like it should have a lot of flavor to it, but it doesn't. There's just a very, 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 very faint hint of spice in the back, like kind of like a Cajun-esque, but, and it's a little sweet to it. Which I don't mind, but it's like still... Like I said, it just kind of tastes like a little bit of paprika to me. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm done with those. Oh. I'm excited for my not Mariah Carey cookie. Mm-hmm. you have to tell me how the Mariah Carey cookie is because I've got a lot of food. <coughs> we had to try out the... I think oh, yeah. Okay, so Mariah Carey apparently has some cookies or something with the same chain and if they all use the same recipes and things like that because according to food theory they do yeah so, so this might be this this theoretically should be a mariah carey cookie yes not bad i applaud them with going with the soft dough chocolate chip cookie hard chocolate chip cookies are disgusting like agreed Unless you have milk to dunk it in, always go with a soft cookie. Mm -hmm. um, a good soft cookie is a good, good soft cookie. Exactly. Like with hard cookies, you have to have qualifiers like milk. Mm -hmm. But but a soft cookie, you can just you can just go ham on it or go dough on it. Um, but it's not bad. All it, right. It's like a great American cookie cookie. It might be a great American cookie. Probably the same. Just rebranded. Right, yeah. To be honest, okay, what would you give the Mr. Beast Burger Experience out of 10? Well, we drove two hours to be here. Um, yes, we did. And for the whole coming up here, spending time with you, getting to come sit in a shady Italian restaurant's parking lot and order a YouTuber's burger, uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> like, not, not gonna lie. Like, I, I enjoy it. As far as the food goes, like, the experience is top-notch. 10 out of 10. As far as the food goes, burger a bit dry. It's a, like a solid out of 10, like a 7. Yeah, I give, seven this, I give this a 7. It's, it's definitely more passing than a D, but I don't think it deserves a C, like, a C plus. You know what I mean? It's like a solid 70. You know? It fries, didn't study. It, it just... It didn't study. It just passed. It just passed. Like, the fries, <laughs> the fries are weak. Complete fail. Toss them. Try a different recipe. Mr. Beast, you have millions upon millions of dollars. You can <laughs> afford to get a new fry recipe. Or spend just a little bit more money on your seasoning. I think what brought it down for me was the fact that they got the chicken sandwich wrong, which I'm still going to eat. I'm not going to take it back. Um, <laughs> gonna go. I demand my Nashville hot tendy. Yeah, I'm not going to need that. But the fries are kind of bland. And um, the ones that don't have, like, much on them or anything, I do see what he's talking about with the seasoning. It looks like it's seasoned. It really does, but it's not. It doesn't taste seasoned. No. And I can taste. It's kind of like. They the just chicken have... sandwich and stuff like that. Yeah, like, the food isn't bland. It's just the fries. The fries are very bland. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. When I, Whenever I see crinkle cut on a menu, I immediately just have no faith in your fries. Oh, I will say, did your sandwich come with your lettuce that we added on? Nope. Yeah. Okay, so the, the burgers <laughs> don't come with vegetables automatically. You have to add them on very Five Guys-esque. Yeah, but, but this doesn't taste like Five Guys. No, it doesn't taste like Five Guys. It's definitely five below guys Five Guys. Five Guys is amazing. However, I will say I paid 50 cents for a couple pieces of lettuce and they, <clears throat> they didn't add it on. That's... Poor form. Poor form. Oh well. Well, it was still okay. We still oh, got yeah. some lunch. Now to drive two hours back to... Back to back Alabama. To Alabama. <laughs> this was the Mr. Beast Burger review. <laughs> hey man. Oh, the cookie was good too. Oh, but like, the cookie was we, good. We reviewed that too. This is the Mr. Beast Burger review. <laughs> Bye!